So here is an example to determine the net area of blade shown in figure where the location of 20 mm diameter fastener is also indicated. So here we have three rows of bolts. So first row one and second bolt will be over here and then the second row here and the th next bolt will be somewhat over here and then the third row this one. So if we see for hole A and B we have stagger of 54 and B and D again we have a stagger of 54 for B and C we have a stagger of 48. We need to consider the horizontal distance between the two adjacent lines for the stagger value. <coughs> okay, so we need to investigate how many different paths are possible in this case. So the first critical path will be from A to D and the second may be A, B and D and the third might be A, B and C. So these three paths are possible. So first of all the net area for path AD. So for path AD we have these two holes. So grass area we know the total width which is 305 for this plate and its thickness is how much 6 millimeter. So 6 multiplied by 305 it will give us the grass area times. So we need to check how many holes will come in this path. So A and D is two holes so N will be two plus diameter of bolt plus 3 allows for the hole diameter as well as for the damage times thickness so it will give us this area so n times d plus 3 t so here we don't have any stagger so we need not to add s square plus 4 g okay next for path a b d path a b and d so here again the net grass area will remain same we will calculate simply by multiplying it with width and thickness so 6 multiplied by 305 then we need to subtract the area of these three holes so 3 times diameter of bolt plus 3 times 6 so we have subtracted the area of these three holes next we need to consider the stagger or we need to add the factor to consider this stagger so we need to add s square over 4g for these two staggers so for first case in case of a b we have stagger value 54 so 54 square time 4 and g so the gauge length between these a and b is 65 so 54 square over 4 times 65 and then for b and d again the stagger is 54 so 54 square divided by 4 times and the gauge length in case of b and d is 100 so 4 times 100 so we need to consider this and then multiply it with the thickness so we need to add this much factor to account for these two staggers so here we get the area 15 27 millimeter square okay next is the path a b and c for path a b c again that grass area will be 6 times 305 and we need to subtract the area of these three holes so we have three holes each hole have 20 millimeter dia of bolt and then add three for the allowance times the thickness so this will be the area of hole then we need to add the factor s square over 4g for these two staggers so for the first case the stagger is 54 divided by 65 is the gauge plus for b to c we have stagger 48 so 48 square divided by gauge length is again 100 so multiplied by 6 the thickness of the plate so in this way we can calculate the net area for path a b c now we need to check which one will be the critical path so if we apply the load so this failure will be along which path so for all these three paths the path which have the least area that will be the governing area or that will be the critical section so here we have 1554 1527 and 1518 so this one will be the critical area that will control or the failure will occur along this path like this